This is a very nice Hammerlin SP600 JX14 that I will be putting on eBay. This one just came in <clears throat> a few days ago and um, the previous owner has recapped it. They did a very nice job underneath replacing all the old capacitors. Um, the condition is very good. The front panel looks very nice. You might find some very small nicks down here around the bottom if you look carefully <clears throat> around the screw holes. But uh, <clears throat> for a, something that was built in 1950s, it is in beautiful shape. Um, everything works and everything works like it should. Listen, listen to the broadcast band here. The uh, selectivity goes from the most narrow position to which is 0.2 uh, kilohertz or 200 cycles up to 13 kilohertz. This is at 8. There's 13. Eight. There's three. Here's 1.3, which is obviously too narrow for AM. 0.5 and 0.2. So as you can tell, it's way too sharp. So we can go up. Uh, now I have checked every band. And uh, let's see if we go this way. Now this, this radio covers from um, the bottom of the AM broadcast band, 550 up to 54 megahertz. Um, so let's see. Let's go up to... Uh, now this would be 3.4 to 5.7. We pass on to the characteristics of the Albanian cuisine by Rita. The nurse. Corn is widely produced here and serves as the staple for many varieties of culinary delights. Due now to this the characteristic is right around 2.5, 2.6 megahertz. That's really, it's almost too sensitive. These radios have two RF stages in the front end. And um, uh, unless you use some attenuation on the AM broadcast band, it's almost too strong when you use a big antenna. Really, all you need is about 10 feet of wire on the AM broadcast band. So, uh, let's see, this is... Uh, Seven megahertz, right there. And that's a CW there coming in, and we can turn on the VFO. Well, that's a very broad position. We can go down to uh, use the crystal filter. As you can tell, it really gets narrow. This is your BFO. And 
and your meter doesn't indicate anything when it's in the uh, CW position in the manual in the manual and the CW position it only works in uh, when the AVC is turned on which is like so because then you can't copy CW but as you can see it works and uh, this is the audio strength on the meter when you hold this down that gives you the audio signal the audio level RF level. <laughs> so uh, let's see, let's go on up here. This is uh, that's 20 meters. Looking at about 14.2 megahertz here. So, like I said, it's very sensitive. Um, and we can continue up. Let's see, this is uh, up around 28. Let's go turn the BFO off. I'll probably hear CB stay. Yeah, sea beers. But uh, of course the bands are pretty dead up there. And then let's see, the last band is um, the highest one, which is way up there, 47 megahertz so of course you won't hear anything up there probably but uh, anyway everything works and let me see if I can give you a little video tour here um, here's the top of the chassis it's very clean you notice the tube shields are the uh, expensive type they are uh, uh, they're like heat sinks and they fit snugly on the tube and absorb the heat. Now on the front here it says this is a uh, signal core 274C FRR. That's the left side. And uh, this is the other side. Um, this thing is a lid that came on it. It's got four bolts that fasten down to the uh, top to keep, I guess, to keep dust off of it. Um, I will attempt to turn this up on its side. Oh, by the way, this here we have the manuals. We have three manuals. The operating instructions, service uh, handbook and uh, overhaul instructions. And these are uh, reproduced. So we'll turn it off and uh, disconnect the antenna back here. It's on the top and uh, unplug it. And now we're going to flip it up on the side. <clears throat> so now you can see here the um, orange capacitors. Those are all new. And whoever did it did a very nice job. The uh, the manual, oh, the, the person that sold it to me said he was a PE, which is a, a licensed engineer if that matters. The filter capacitors have been replaced by these individual ones here. And they are new. And um, let's see, I guess we could show the back. Possibly. And 
here is the back. We have the uh, IF output jack here and your adjustments for the meter and a uh, little fuse holder thing there. As you can see the tubes, the rectifier tube and the audio tube both have hold downs, the clamps to keep them in place. Even the power transformer has a big clamp to hold it in. Made for using on ships, they were built very ruggedly, yet they are aluminum. So it's not quite as heavy as it looks. Probably about uh, 50 to 60 pounds would be my guess. So, okay, there you go. Most of these things you see on eBay are of unknown operating condition and will need a lot of work. This one has been aligned and works like it should. So there you go. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on eBay.